A doughy crust packs hot chunks of various meats bathed with a thick gravy, all stuffed in a tight-fitting package that warms your hands on cold days. The first bite is always too hot, yet you relish in the satisfying burn and burst of comforting flavors. We've been exploring all that Melbourne has to offer, and after our feast of food from all over the world, I decided to focus on something that is as Australian as it comes. So we're still here in Melbourne and this whole video will be dedicated to one of my favorite things to eat over here and it's absolutely everywhere. It's almost like a commodity. We're talking about this little guy, perfect, beautiful meat pies. They can be bought in convenience stores. They can be bought frozen in supermarkets and be reheated at home. But what makes a good pie versus a commercial pie different? Um, there are lots of different shops here that specialize in it. Apparently, when you go to the countryside, they're much better, much tastier. And in the CBD, it could be hard to find artisanal pies, but there are a bunch of people doing it right, and today, that's what we're exploring. Our first bite comes from Keith Pies in Richmond. It is so heavy. Like, each time I see these little guys, like, it might look like a snack, but it's actually truly a full meal. And this one is a steak, cheese, onion, and tomato pie, I believe. Let's open it up and see what treasures lie beneath. This is my favorite part, kind of breaking it up. Woo! Mama. Mmm. The cheese, the onions really come through. That gravy is just so sticky. There's lots of things that can be different in terms of pies. It can be the pie crust itself. It can be some people like it more crispy on top, flaky. There always needs to be kind of like this raw pie dough right under so that when you pull it, you have like a little chew, a little pull that comes through. And you'll find tons of variations from curry to, I don't know, different kinds of meat that they use and all the different flavors that they use. So once I finish this, we'll go around and explore some more and hopefully find some good pies. Aside from pie shops, the markets of the city all have bakeries serving this classic. We decided to go to one and try a couple out. We're currently at the Dandenong Market and our pie exploration continues. This time we bought a pie from Baker Boys and they make a curry minced beef pie. I love the different variations that you can find here and this looks insane. The dough is perfectly kind of like between that soft, flaky texture. The beef inside has a nice, really strong curry flavor that comes through. A lot of sauce with little pieces of meat. It's quite nice. Not bad. I think if you're gonna try different variations, go for it. You know, nothing beats for me a classic mince, but this is a strong contender. Pie number two at the Dandenong Market. Still, this is a classic beef pie. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So very, very different from the other one. The other one had a lot of sauce. This one is just kind of like full stocked <laughs> with just chopped beef, minced beef. The other option that they had was a classic steak and pepper pie, but this seemed like the one I wanted to go for. Mmm. That's good. It's like fatty, it's cartilage in there. And I love the straightforward, no bullshit flavor. This has gotta be one of the best ones we've tried so far. Delicious. If you wanna take it a step further, you'll be able to find some pie-specific shops around the city. The ones that came highly recommended were Candied Bakery, Dinkum Pies, Pure Pie, and The Pie Shop. We opted to visit Prince's Pie, a new favorite, and got to chat with the owner, Maddie Fallon, who worked in some of the best high-end kitchens in the city before taking a break. After a trip to New Zealand, he found a new love for the perfect meat pie. And as we know, making something seemingly simple and common so good is often the hardest thing to do. What makes a good pie? Um, I, I like this is very debatable. Yeah. Uh, I personally think that it has to have really good gravy if it's going to be a meat pie. 
Um, so our gravy is a combination of all the like off run of like because we braise everything. Right. Um, so it's everything. So lamb stock, uh, beef stock, chicken stock, whatever we've got going, yeah. and then we make a gravy from that. That's for me personally. That's sort of my favourite. Um, and then from there, definitely pastry. Like so, crunch on top of the pastry with a little bit uncooked on, on the inside, yeah, so it has a little bit of a pull to it. Um, and then just you know, well you know, completely full and decent. And is, is the tomato sauce like optional? Is it tomato sauce like... depending. So like, oh, we would say for the lamb, go to cheese and truffle. No tomato sauce, no way. Um, but it's yeah, it's all up to the style of pie and who Who's wants eating it really. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm 50 50. Okay. Like if I had a classic mince, definitely have it. And then you know, if I had a pepper steak, no way. So. Yeah. So is that one truffle? Awesome. Thanks. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Classic mints over here at Princess Pie. This looks insane. That gravy is just pouring out. <laughs> So fatty and thick. I think someone else contracts. That's delicious. It's not classic. Yeah. It's one of the best I've tried. All right, this is the lamb, truffle, and goat cheese. Intense. Oh, look at that. Crazy flavor. I'm biased, but that's personally the best pie I've ever had. <laughs> uh, mm. You guys need to try this out there. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Sorry, it's a little loud here today. Um, but thank you for watching. That was episode number three. Watch out for the next episode, which is coming really, really soon. And it's all about all the side trips you can take in Melbourne. It's a lot of fun. Just subscribe and click the other previous two episodes that we posted already. See ya. Bye.